Hi, my name is Michelle Walsh and I am a teacher turned writer and a volunteer at Fighting Words. And I'd just like to take a couple of minutes to share with you my top writing tips that I've learned over the past couple of years since I started writing and in the hope that they can help you if you're trying to write during this uh, difficult time. Okay, so number one is read. Read all around you, anything you can get your hands on, all different types of authors, different types of genres, because really reading is the best teacher for writing. Um, secondly, when you do write something, try to leave it aside and let it rest, so to speak, for a couple of weeks before you go back to it. This gives you a bit of distance and perspective and will help you to edit um, with fresh eyes. So number three, when you are editing, editing is really just a fancy word for correcting. I do say that with my teacher's hat on, but that's really all that it is. You're going back over your work to see, does your story make sense? Is it all written in the same tense? Um, do, your, do your characters say what you want them to say? Is your spelling right? Is your grammar right? Does the writing have a, have a, have a, have a rhythm to it, a musicality? Does it rise and fall? And does it have a satisfactory beginning, middle and end? And a good rule of editing is that if you can take away the first paragraph and the last paragraph and the story still makes sense, it means you have a very strong story. So just keep that in mind when you're going back over editing. Um, number four, when you write, write for yourself. Try not to worry too much about who's going to read. I think that's really important when you start out writing. And fifth, but uh, last but not least, is show, don't tell. This is the secret of all um, creative writing, is that um, you're trying to paint a picture for your reader to transport them to another place. So if I give you an example, and I say Katie was tired, this is a tell sentence. It doesn't require the reader to do anything. Whereas if you say Katie was sprawled on the couch, her eyes closed and her arm hanging over the side, it requires the reader to do some work and it's up to them to figure out that she's tired. And this is this is a show sentence as opposed to a, a tell sentence. And this is what you are aspiring to. 